Hey guys, this is Glitler for SitAndGoGrinders.com. This video uh, about two very important topics. I've done a video in the past about handwriting, um, so I want to kind of bring that topic up again. And also we're going to dive into SPR. Um, SPR is a concept I first learned about uh, when I was reading a book uh, several years ago, and it stands for uh, Stack to Pot Ratio. Um, so that's really important to remember that. So we'll just write it down there. Uh, so basically we're going to look over three hands uh, that uh, a student and friend of mine played. These are all 45 man, I believe $7 buy-ins. Um, but uh, they're going to be uh, similar in a lot of games uh, because these are early game spots. It just depends now on the type of opponent that you're playing against. Um, you'll hear some sniffles throughout the video because uh, once again I'm sick. Um, so do your best to cope with it because it's probably going to sound annoying for a little bit. <laughs> okay, uh, so this very first hand is the 100 200 level. There's probably about, I would say, in the mid 20s uh, amount of people left, maybe like 25 people left. Um, let's see the action. So an unknown player limps here. Um, we get a raise from this player here. Now, the read that Hero has in this hand is is that the the Razor here is, in fact, a very tight player. That's all we know about him, and it was just based on uh, VPIP preflop raise being uh, very, very tight over a medium sample size. Okay. Um, so it folds to Hero, and Hero has a decision to make. Um, certainly all decisions besides folding are good here. Uh, so which one do you want to do? So I'm sure a lot of you would probably go with a three bet here. Some of you may even say call. Um, let's talk about each one. If you three bet and then... I mean, a lot of things can happen since now we have this kind of third player here who's in the pot. Is he going to call? Is he going to re-raise? What's this guy going to do? Um, one thing you would want to ask yourself right off the bat in, in, in this hand is, uh, would you be happy if you 3-bet and the raiser 4-bet? Uh, if the answer is no, then you should never, ever 3-bet here. Um, if the answer is yes, then you should 3-bet. Um, now, since he is very tight over medium sample size, uh, Hero decided that he wouldn't be happy if, if he three bet and then was shoved on or, or re-raised. Um, so Hero decided to flat. Now, what flatting does here is the flatting actually controls the SPR. And watch what happens, okay? So once he flats here, um, the pot becomes 1,200. And now, when you, you measure the SPR, um, SPRs are measured once the flop hits. Um, I'm sure there's other spots where you can you measure it, but this is the most, uh, at least the most basic way, uh, is to look at 5,400 uh, divided by 14. Now, 54 is about the effective stack because he has 5. So really, I guess it's 5K divided by 1,400 which is like, uh, quick math, because I can't think right now, three and a half-ish, I think, just for fun. Oh, okay, so let's just call it 3.5, okay? So in this hand, the SPR equals 3.5. Now, what are you going to do with that information? Well, not much, because it's not like we're going to do something special because the SPR is 3.5. What that means, though, is that this hand is a little more difficult to play because you are deeper. Just the same, like, if, imagine if you were in a cash game um, and you had 200 big blinds, okay? And uh, you have ace-king. And there's a raise and a call or whatever, and let's just say the pot is 10 big blinds, and you have 190 big blinds left. I don't know how that happened... You know, if you have started with 200, now it's at 190, but whatever, you get the point. Your SPR equals 19. And 
let's say that the flop is ace xx and you have top pair, but top pair with an SPR of 19 is not a strong hand. This is exactly the reason why you guys may struggle with flopping top pair top kicker at big blind 20 because you're so deep compared to the pot. So basically, um, SPRs um, determine how strong certain hands are.